Hello and welcome to Hexen Action YouTube channel. So here we got Motorola G Stylus model number XT2043-4. So we will be bypassing Google account on this model to do so. So let's get started. Skip this. You should have a Wi-Fi or internet connection. So here put your password for the Wi-Fi don't copy anything sometime it will take longer time to get into the screen it may check for the updates and stuff like that so you should be patient let's go back and here click on English this language so select your language choose your language so here we'll be selecting any of these languages let's select the last one so it's like a chinese kind of or korean click on the last one again so now click on this emergency call button click and click again here click on this pin sign click on the first one here press and hold so you should see a long language uh, option here so let's go back and select a different one let's select this one so this time we see this language here click here on the first one and again click here click again here click on this and now click here again one click or click, click press and hold so you'll see the language option here so you can change the keyboard language or anything like that so click on this so it will change it to the English now press and hold on the same language icon click here on this if you want to read read this uh, so the easy way to install Google Lens in your phone is an app provided by Google and in Android it works fine so you just it's gonna translate for you like so now it's translating anything on the screen so it means language settings so click on this language settings so here again we want to translate this okay so here we are clicking on the this one what what does it say our, our keyboard so click on our keyboard so here you see the right arrow so let's see what does it say okay come on Gagashian okay so these are different languages so we are click on this Gagashian language so here you will see the three dots on the top right corner so here again these two options let's see what is this service center so look, click on the service center this one so here again let's see what does it say android switch control information the first one click on this click on youtube and i hope you guys know how it does it work so now click here again click here click on these two dots you will see the switch access for android click on this to expand it so here you will see a link yeah, about it so click, it will open up the google chrome browser so here now we are typing quick shortcut maker so we are trying to install the apk so here we are seeing let's download it from uh, let's download it from this website download close this translation page so you should wait for a minute you should download it automatically let's see so here click on down from secure server okay so now 
download you can download it from any app any website so here click on this option uh, to see what does it say so you have to bring the google lens app again and it's gonna translate it for you so now we are click on this one which says settings so click on this one it tells you turn on to install our installation of apps from source so turn on this go back so now so that you won't do any mistake now it's telling you this one is the cancel and this one is install so we are click on this one which is install so now here again it's telling you complete it so there is some misunderstanding on the translation or anything like that but click on this one so it will open up and what does it say okay confirm so here we slide down and let's see open the motorola app launcher launcher so we are opening the motorola app launcher the first one this one we want to open it up so now we are here uh, in this screen what we are doing is we are swiping up and find out the settings if the language is still like you can use this google lens Alright, so for example, let's see. Now it says settings. Click on this translation, like you have to click on this translation. Like here is the translation option. So you click on that, then it will show you. Okay, now it says settings. So now click on the settings. And here uh, let's see let's first change the language so now swipe down let's see which one says that okay the last one uh, the second last one says system so the second last one says system language action so click on this one let me put the phone here so that it could be visible on the camera so the second line says system language action click on this one here now see language and in input something like that so click on the first one and here let's see it's telling us Korean so click on this one and now here it says other language click on that add english now click and hold and swipe up so now it will change it to english so that's all so again come here and click on this language so by mistake I went all the way up so here find out the arrow again you should you should stay in the settings so you should you should not by mistake I went all the way to the beginning again so click on three dots help and feedback okay now switch access click here on these three dots share three dots again so here again here and click this it will open up google now we have to install it again to go back there you know so let's start it from the same page download install this time it's not gonna ask open we shouldn't go all the way back and forth so you can open uh, launcher again motorola launcher or you can just jump to the settings directly but let's open the motorola app launcher 
try again okay so here is the setting icon and our aim was to come here so that's the place that we are going to bypass uh, frp lock or put our own security lock on the phone so here the fingerprint is not working swipe is not working device admin apps nothing you can turn it on or not doesn't matter uh, click on screen pinning so it will say lock device when unpinning so now here you just put your patron lock you will put something like m for motorola you can put a finger print also so just change the position a little little and it will add the fingerprint security so done now go back you can turn on device admin apps also for some reason if it doesn't work doesn't bypass so it means you have to turn on find my device uh, this also but let's try without that let's restart this phone and hopefully we will be able to bypass if our lock from this model and you can try the same method on some other Motorola models as well and I'll be making a second video um, and I'm sharing a second video also about the same model or different one So here we got a lock. Let's unlock that better. Let's skip this. Don't copy anything. Let's draw again our patron lock. Great, so we just bypassed the Google account or if I feel like for Motorola G Stylus. So follow the steps and you should be able to reuse your phone. And thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. We really appreciate your support and i'll be seeing you in the next video